Hello and welcome to the show. I'm Renee Ferguson and today we're exploring the world of skiing. It's a winter sport that brings people of all ages together for fun, networking, and exercise. If this sounds like an activity you'd like to try, here are some easy ways to get started on the slopes. The best way to get involved with skiing is starting with a club. That's, that's very important. It's not uh, really in your best interest to start out there by yourself because you end up getting, uh, you won't take lessons and clubs also stress the importance of lessons. You, you'll never learn unless you take lessons, continuous lessons too. If you're just starting out, you may want to try this money-saving tip before purchasing high-end clothing and equipment. To start in your closet. You will start in your closet. Everybody has a winter coat, hat, gloves, uh, and usually uh, long underwear also. Uh, from there, you'll need some insulated bibs or insulated pants. You can buy from any uh, clothing store, you know, will uh, sell that for a minimal cost. You know, as you're a beginner, uh, we don't know if you really want to get involved with skiing, because skiing can be uh, an expensive sport. So what we do as your uh, club members, we'll just pass clothing on to you if, you don't, if you're lacking clothing or even equipment. And hopefully you will uh, take up skiing from there and, and once you need new equipment, you just pass the equipment that I gave you on to somebody else. Skiing is a vigorous activity, so it's best that you condition yourself before the season begins. It wouldn't be best for you to just to jump into it. You know, you want to have uh, a level of physical conditioning, you know, with you before you get involved. You know, skiing, is, it's a lot involved with downhill skiing. But if you have a uh, physical background uh, in some other sport, just, just being in good condition and being your best interest, you know, it'd be much easier. Your preconditioning should include a total body workout to handle downhill and cross-country skiing. So exercises like squats, lunges, and leg raises are great for lower body toning. Standing crunches and abdominal machines will strengthen your core muscles for added stability. You'll need adequate upper body strength, so exercises that build your chest, back, and arm muscles will boost your performance on the slopes. Improve your endurance with cardiovascular exercise at least three days a week. Biking, inline skating, and cardio machines are just a few ideas. Whether you're part of a club or not, some ski outings involve travel, but no worries, it's a family-friendly sport. It's a lot of act activities for the kids. When you talk about the National Brotherhood of Skiers, they, they look out for the young as well as us older people, you know. There are babysitting uh, services available that are, uh, come from the National Brotherhood as well as that particular resort too. For infants right up to early grade school kids, they have, there's babysitting services available. Yes, and yeah, we do stay for a week at a time. Um, when you're talking about going out to Colorado, you know, you need, you need that time just to, you know, take in the mountains, you know. Here are a few things to remember before you hit the slopes. Consider joining a ski club for support. Before investing in ski gear, start with the clothes in your closet or purchase used clothing and equipment from advanced skiers. Perform toning, cardio, and stretching exercises to improve your performance and lower your injury risk. And experts suggest that you start training at least eight weeks prior to your first ski trip. 